There are thousands of pets dying out there every day. When we sat at this table, five, six pets died in the United States from a rabies vaccine they didn't need. Anybody can walk in here, sit down, and say whatever they want. But I gave you science. I said to the state board, if I had to kill an animal to obey that law, would I have to do it? They said yes. One rabies vaccine is good for life. All this is unnecessary. If that dog had a tighter check, it would not need a vaccination. So this is the real problem here. I had put upstairs in the public health department 45 articles that show vaccines are dose dependent. Titers indicate immunity. It's been proven. Okay, but who's the we? Who's the we? The researchers. The researchers. These are the researchers. They're the ones who do the research. Okay. I've spent a career in the pharmaceutical. And I've spent a career being a veterinarian watching animals finish? die. I think I have the floor, but I completely don't agree with what you're saying. <laughs> studies that the vaccine can sometimes create other health concerns for animals. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. You get tumors at the injection sites, you get autoimmune diseases that start later in life, but you get the immediate reactions. Some dogs die immediately of anaphylaxis, others get just serum sickness and they vomit, maybe hide under the bed for a day or two. But if I lower my dose, right, to protect the animal, then I'm in trouble. So I have to do what the manufacturer says, and like the State Board of Connecticut said, if I have to kill my pet, I have to kill my pet. It's the law. Well, guess what? I have a Hippocratic oath that is greater than any law that's passed in the state of Connecticut that would make me kill my patient. I won't do it.